That's quite an unusual question because it's asking us to find the mean from a bar line graph. Now, what I would do is I'd first of all just start drawing a table for this information because I'm used to finding the mean from a table. So that's what I'm going to do. And so we've got pets, we've got the frequency, and we'll worry about the last column in a second. So zero pets. The frequency is 6, 1 pet, the frequency is 10, 2 pets, the frequency is 6, 3 pets, the frequency is 6, and 4 pets, the frequency is 1. Now to find the mean you add an fx column, and I always call this, whatever is here, x, and I always call the frequency f. So it's the fx column, and you just times them together. So it's just a way of finding out those six that were zero. Well, how many is that in total? Well, that's going to be zero. Those ten that had one pet, how many pets is that in total? Ten. Those six um, people who had two pets, well, how many pets are there in total? Well, two times six, which is twelve. Uh, there were six people with three pets, so that's eighteen pets altogether. And there was one person with four uh, four pets. So that's four all together. Then what you want to do is you want to add up the fx column. And we do that with a little e symbol, just means sum of. So I'm going to do that calculator now. So 0 plus 10 plus 12 plus 18 plus 4, which is 44. You also want to add up the frequency column, so sum of frequency. So it sometimes tells you in the question how many there are, so just double check that. So I'm going to add those together. So that's 29. Now, the mean is all of the stuff added together over how many there are. So you kind of want to swap these over. Okay, so it's 44 over, which means divide, 29. So 44 divided by 29. And it comes up with a fraction in the calculator, so just press S to D. And that equals 1.5172, blah, blah, blah. It asks for two decimal places, so to two decimal places, that is 1.52, because that 7 moves that one up.